you might have seen Vox using stop motion effect inside of their videos be it titles or displaying infographics or creating a transition they use a really subtle stop motion effect which really sets them apart from other content creators on youtube so we're going to try and replicate the same effect inside of davinci resolve so here i have a animation a simple text animation so let me just play this it's a simple text animation and it is being animated over 30 frames and if you go to the edit page then you can see in the fusion composition over here we have this animation now inside the fusion tab you also have uh, an effect for stop motion so if you search for stop motion under open effects you will see it and uh, it just doesn't work on the fusion composition itself and i even tried to create the compound clip and apply the stop motion effect but that didn't work as well and I also tried applying the stop motion effect on the adjustment clip but that doesn't work as well so what you have to do is to work with the stop motion you need to render this out as an mp4 file render it out bring it inside DaVinci Resolve I mean that process will take a lot of time and the end result is not that great so we're going to use fusion and we're going to create this stop motion effect inside of fusion page so let's go to the fusion page and after you are done with your animation you just see your last node so in my case it's, it's the merge node so before the media out i'm going to add in another node called time speed click on add so if you check the time speed node then you can see that on the controls we have the speed option the delay and the interpolation mode so we just want to deal with the speed over here and right now it's set to one uh, which means the animation will be the same as you have made it inside the fusion so it will be 30 frames long but if you change the speed and set this to 2 and play the animation again then you can see that the speed will be a little bit faster so if i just disable the time speed you can see the animation ends at the 30th frame and if i now enable the time speed then you can see that the animation ends at the 15th frame so we are just doubling the speed over here and making our animation fast and as far as the interpolation mode goes we're going to set that to nearest and that will give us the choppy look for our animation if you set this to blend then resolve will automatically create frames in between which we don't want so i'm going to set this to nearest and now what you have to do is just copy and paste this time speed effect again now on the second time speed effect all you have to do is slow it down so now, now the speed is 2 I'm going to set this to 0.5 so half of the time speed the previous time speed effect so in the previous time speed node our animation ended at 15 frame and on the second time speed uh, we are slowing it down so the speed will be 0.5 so that means it will be half of 15 frame so essentially we are lowering down the FPS of our animation so if I just play the animation again then you can see that we have the choppy stop animation look inside of our animation and that's basically how you can create that same look that vox uses in their videos i'm going to demonstrate it on another example over here so i have uh, the simple transform node over here and i have this scale animation applied to it so the scale animation itself is 30 frames long after you apply the time speed effect then you're going to notice that the animation will be choppy and it will have the same look and feel as in the vox animations all right so that is pretty much it that's how you can create this style of animation inside of davinci resolve i hope it will help you in your upcoming projects thank you so much for watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next one